My name's Steve Bingham, and I'm a violinist, conductor, and educator from the UK. I'm here in Krakow to talk about some wonderful pieces by PWM Edition as part of their series of tutorials, Music from Chopin's Land. We're going to start with two pieces from a lovely volume um, called Musical Journeys. It's book one, and it's all about animals. I'm playing excerpts from two of the pieces, Mosquito, which is a polka, and um, Beetle, which is a Jewish dance. These pieces are by Eva Ivan, and they're really, really great for early stages violinists, young students. They bring in lots of interesting techniques, and there's lots of chances for the student to enjoy the music. So we're going to start with an excerpt from Mosquito, and uh, see how that goes. I had an encounter with Krakow mosquitoes last night that were biting me, so I know, I know what it's like. You have to have some bites in this piece. So the student needs to work on these short <laughs> notes. It means getting into the string, pressure, and then release. <laughs> Almost go for just a little noise at first when you're practicing this. And then add a little bit of length, just to get those accents. This piece also uses, as does Beetle that I'm going to play in a minute, it uses some very good finger pattern work. So the difference between, even in the first bar of the violin part, an F natural, and then sliding that second finger forward to get an F sharp. So. That shape, that movement of a finger is always the hardest one to learn. And this piece is great for just getting those different finger patterns and hand shapes. I'm going to move on to the Jewish dance called Beetle in the same volume. This volume has lovely illustrations of the, the animals in the pieces. It brings in Various techniques, there are different time signatures, 6, 8 and so on. There's lovely legato bowing. And it's mostly, most of the pieces concentrate on first position. The one I just played is just first position. There are some that use third position. Tarantula has a little bit of fifth position. So it's great for a range of, of early years students. So the Jewish dance beetle towards the end of the book. I chose this because Unlike Mosquito, where we're playing down in the lower half of the bow, off the string, this is suited to middle to upper half on the string. It's a different bow stroke, very useful for teaching your students different ways of using the bow. So we're going to play you the opening of Beetle. you'll hear that there's that very traditional Jewish feel to it with an augmented second. And the suggestion in the part, which is a very good one, is to use your fourth finger. Normally on a G or a G sharp, the student will be using a third finger. So it's a big stretch if you do that. Very large stretch. So being able to use the fourth finger, A, it's good for strengthening the student's fourth finger, but also it's a much easier stretch for that G-sharp. So a great way of introducing the student to the fact that certain notes where they would normally expect to use a particular finger are always possible 
on a different finger. There were always alternatives, and that's a really useful lesson. This piece also has these different finger patterns. So for instance, the scale here, first and second fingers forward, and then on the next string, first and second fingers back. So again, that difference between forward and back by a semitone is a really useful thing. So I love the pieces in this volume. They're fun to play, very enjoyable musically. And the, the Jewish dance, for instance, can be done at different speeds. So we played it reasonably relaxed. We have to be nice to our pianist at this point because there's more notes in the piano part than in the violin part. So look after your pianist. But we're going to try it a little faster. Yes. Good. Here we go. There's one more technique that the composer brings into the Jewish dance, Beetle. It's at the end, and it's the use of syncopated rhythms. It's worth getting your student to play these slowly, perhaps with a metronome or with somebody tapping, so they really get the feel of... Maybe even you could get the student to sniff on the rest. tap. Foot tapping is a little more risky because you don't want to encourage that when they're playing. Let's play that section up to speed and you can see how that feels when it's in place with the piano part. <laughs> So this entire volume of Musical Journeys by Ivan is just that. It's a wonderful set of explorations of different animals and their characteristics, written in a way that introduces lots of useful techniques for the younger student in a fun way, which I hope will be a very useful addition to every teacher's bookshelf. Music